Welcome to Tech Support Tuesday, and on today's show, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and troubleshoot the Aris SB8200 so you can tell whether or not your ISP is lying to you if you are having internet connectivity problems. Let's get started. But before we do, now only 2% of you are actually subscribed to my channel. Let's go ahead and change that. So go ahead and smash that like button and click on subscribe right now. Let's get started. So first we're going to go ahead and type in 192.168.100.1 in the web browser. And this will bring up the SB8200 login page. Now the username is admin and the password is the last eight digits of the serial number that is printed on the bottom of the modem. Now I'm going to go ahead and click login. Now here you can go ahead and see all the different information about the uh, channels and the power and signal to noise ratio and if there's any problems on any of the channels and you have the upstream and the downstream listed here for the upstream there are five channels available depending on your ISP and the location you are within your ISP's network you might have less than five upstream channels just a few months ago I only had four but Cox is upgrading the area that I live in and now there is five and that is to help with all of the congestion since everybody pretty much works from home now due to COVID. Now if we come over to Eris's website and I'll go ahead and put this link in the description. Here is a page that goes ahead and talks about the cable signal levels and how to log in which we already covered. And this is the important piece right here. The downstream bonded channels need to have power levels that are between positive and negative 15 dBmV. Also, if we scroll down here, it covers the acceptable SNR levels or signal to noise ratio. Now, depending on your connection, then these variables will come into play. And same thing here with the upstream bonded channels. So let's go ahead and go back on over to my modem and we'll look at the upstream bonded channels and look at the power levels. So we're sitting at 44 to 46. And as you can see here with three or more, Typically, you would want to have 45 or greater, although when I did call up Cox and I'm not having any issues, they are refusing to uh, do anything to be able to improve those power levels and just say to go ahead and hang tight as they are doing upgrades in the area and the service will get better over time. Now let's look at the downstream bonded channels and basically we're looking at 30 to 33 and above and everything looks fine. Now when we look at the corrected, I did look into this uh, a while back and it was actually a known channel that is always going to have a bunch of correctables. If I can remember where I looked for that information, I'll go ahead and post a link in the description as well. So as long as your connection information is within these parameters, and this again is for the Aris SB8200, then you should have reliable internet connectivity provided that you are hardwired. And if you still have connectivity issues, and you are hardwired, then I would recommend replacing the cables between your modem and router. If you still continue to have issues and you are not hardwired and you are over Wi-Fi, then something simple that you can check is that if you are using 2.4 gigahertz, that you are only using either channels 1, 6, or 11, configured as 20 megahertz width of the channel. And if you are on 5 gigahertz, then check to see if you are avoiding DFS channels. If you subscribe, I'll be doing a future video on that as well, and I will catch you in the next one.